So how, how do we uh, better think about antiandrogens uh, in 2017? We've had great evolution of earlier generation antiandrogens that were uh, partial antagonists, but yet at the same time partial agonists of the androgen receptor. So what we describe is the first generation lutamides, um, flutamide, uh, nilutamide, bicalutamide, where we've now evolved in terms of approved therapies. Uh, we have more advanced uh, uh, antiandrogens in the form of enzalutamide, and we also have uh, androgen biosynthesis inhibitors uh, like abiraterone. Both of these drugs have given us great ability in the castration-resistant prostate cancer state to slow down cellular proliferation by uh, preventing further um, uh, 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 productivity of the androgen receptor translocation into the nucleus, cellular proliferation. Where we're moving to uh, with uh, newer uh, antiandrogens is potentially more potent uh, forms and some forms in the oral um, delivery that could also be better tolerated. Uh, so I think that that's a very exciting uh, area right now. And there are multiple phase three trials of new antiandrogens that we're investigating uh, in 2017. Additionally, there may be other oral medications and what we describe as PARP inhibitors, which could uh, either act synergistically with antiandrogens or in some patients who have a specific type of DNA repair mechanism uh, defects, there could be a use for these oral PARP inhibitors either before and, and or after the use of antiandrogens.